Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this one you're going to see me make a three-legged bar stool mainly out of oak with a highlight of walnut. This one is for a client who's possibly wanting a few more done for a bar here in Christchurch. So I hope you enjoy the video and I apologize for the first half being shot in portrait, not landscape. It's my first YouTube video so I'm not quite used to everything yet, but from now on it'll be landscape. Enjoy! Okay, so here you see me cutting the excess off the stool legs before I take them over to the lathe. Now because I haven't made this particular three-legged design before, I find it easier to start here by making the legs, and that way I can use them with a scrap top to mess around with the hole locations for the wedged through mortises on the top of the stool without ruining that final top, which you will also see me do in the next clip. Made some slight adjustments to the to the hole locations on the top here, um, a little bit closer in because I think the proportions work a little bit better when the legs are a little bit closer to the centre of the top. So now we're ready to go on the real top. So what you've seen me do is find the center point and drill a shallow wee hole as well as cut the excess off on the bandsaw. So what that little hole's for is I've got a little pin here and the seat can just sit right on there and that's for me the easiest way with the tools I have to get a perfectly circular round seat. So yeah, let's get into it. Alrighty, now that the seat is a perfect circle, you can get to using the compass and laying out the hole locations for the legs like we did on the scrap piece. Now that we've got the marks set out on the top, I've got a sacrificial board clamped onto the drill press here, and it's got another one of those little pins like I had at the router table to get the circle. So now I can just sit the wee seat in there, and it's at a perfect center point that all I need to do is line up the hole locations, clamp it in place, and then I can get the three holes nice and consistently at the same angle. the legs dry fit into the top everything looks like they're in the right place nice and symmetrical so now I just need to chuck it through the thicknesser a couple of times to get rid of the little hole I've got on the underside for that pin and then we can work on finishing off the legs and general shape of the top really <laughs> Off camera, I just finished drilling the holes for the stretches. 
we've got the foot rest at the front and then we've got two support stretches going to the back leg. Before drilling the holes I sanded each leg on the lathe to get a more uniform finish and then I'll do a final hand sanding at the end of the project. On to turning the stretches now, I've got two here done, one in walnut and one in oak. The walnut one will be the front support for the feet and got the third one on the lathe here, so I'll show you how I do it. Now that I've got it round for the most part and roughed out, I'm going to measure, get to the center. The overall size we are looking for is 350. One seventy five from the center to the ends of the stretcher. And now we're going to start refining the shape and working on the little tenons at each end. Now that the final shape and the tenons are all done, I like to sand on the lathe. So I'll work my way through the grits and then we can do a dry fit on the stool. All right, sanding's done. So now I can cut the little ends off and we can get to dry fitting on the stool. It's looking good. All the stretches fit. Time to move forward. The final sanding on all of the pieces, and now we're ready for glue up. We're all glued up. And the great thing about traditional joinery techniques like this is now that the wedges are in, they're not going anywhere. So I can trim that off straight away, sand it flush and get to the rest of the clean up on the stool. Now I can just sand everything flush. Now that everything's glued up, I can use my router table as a reference surface and just level off the stool with some paper shims on the back there. And now I can draw lines around the bottom of each leg so that I know where to cut with the handsaw and get this stool nice and level.
cut all the legs to length now and rounded over all the corners and then just drilled a center point and put a pin nail in there just to help me out when I'm finishing the stool and because these will be outdoor stools they will have a little foot screwed onto the bottom anyway so that hole is no issue so yeah final sanding is done now it's on to finishing okay so I've mentioned before that this is going to be an outdoor stool It'll be undercover but outside, so I'm going to start finishing with some layers of an epoxy timber sealer just to really stiffen up all the wood fibres and get a really nice seal and then I'll end up going with a marine grade polyurethane or lacquer of some sort on top. Let's go ahead with the first coat. Now that the underside of the stool is all coated, you can really see why I mentioned that I put the pin nails on the underside of the stool legs. Now, time for the first coat on the top of the stool. My favorite part, it's always awesome to see the colors come through. First coat is complete. Now I'll let it dry overnight and get on to the next one tomorrow. With the first coat of finished dry, I'm now giving the full stool a quick sanding to knock down all the high spots with some 240 grit sandpaper. And I repeated this process after each coat of finish just to make sure that I get a really nice smooth finish at the end of it. Okay, so we finished up three coats of the penetrating epoxy sealer on the stool and I'm about to start the first coat, first of two top coats of this exterior wood varnish and this is in satin because the epoxy sealer is quite a gloss finish so hopefully this will flatten it off a bit. The final coat is dry and I'm a lot happier with the finish after the two top coats of the satin product. All that's left to do is screw on the feet and this stool is ready for delivery. Okay, so the little feet are attached now. And the reason I've put these on is because this is going to be in the outdoor area of a bar, it'll be sitting on pavers. So if these feet weren't here, that finish would get worn away so quickly and you'd end up getting moisture into the legs and whatnot, which is just not what we want for the longevity of the stool. So these feet will keep each leg nice and protected from the elements and also just general wear and tear. Feels good. 